Yeah, I'm back. Well, shit, back for the first time. This is my first uh, actual, should I say, I don't know, talk, boxing talk. Um, yeah, this is Yanko Boxing Channel. But what I want to get to is, what I want to get to is this. The why, the LDBC community, why do they always have to be racist? Like, yo, we all, we, we, we all black. Yeah, I'm half black or whatever, but shit. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and just hate on somebody because they're not black. And then you think Terrence Crawford is cooning because he's with, with Bob Arum. Doesn't make sense. When PBC is owned by a Jewish person. It doesn't make sense for y'all to even say that. Y'all don't even know that Al Heyman works for Richard Schaefer. Floyd Mayweather, $300 million, is split up by three ways. And he doesn't get the bulk of that. He cashes the check for $3 million. It's just like how you have to pay for your cut man out of pockets. But y'all so blinded by the fact that y'all get blinded by Dante's Boxing Nation, Barbershop Conversation, and seven eight sports with his lips t- lips talking ass. He can't even talk. He he be talking like fucking uh what's it what's his name Cleveland off a of motherfucking Family Guy and shit. But I'm I'm trying to keep the cussing to the minimum. But they be pissing me off. I mean because it's no, it's no point of spreading hate. You know I understand y'all getting these little little extra money from the elites. I mean come on I'm on all that. You know we know we know this game is fixed to an extent. How many exempts Floyd get? We know he's part of that that secret life. But I'm not here to talk about politics. I'm here to talk about boxing. Y'all praise Errol Spence and Floyd Mayweather for ducking. Ducking. Yes, I said it. Ducking. Y'all trying to wait for Terrence. He trying to wait for Terrence Crawford to get old just like Floyd did Pacquiao. And y'all always trying to blame Bob Arum. It's like. I think Bob be trying to make them fights because he has a lot of historic fights. Why would he stop historic fights? And he called out Al him and y'all still, still, still want to ride with PBC. Leonard Ellaby said it his damn self. We, we're not going to take the hardest route. My thing is this. I lost a lot of respect for Floyd. When he was, when he was, uh, when he was pretty boy, that was one of my favorite fighters, man. I mean, he still got skills, don't get it wrong. But the stuff he did when he turned the money, money Mayweather, was ridiculous. He called for an even playing field, right? But the man has always been doped up. He lost his suit against Pacquiao because he couldn't prove his A and B samples. Proves Pacquiao was clean. And Floyd's head has grown over the years. And y'all, y'all don't take the facts. Y'all look at what he say and say, oh, since Floyd said it, he's right. Just like y'all do the Bible. Oh, because it says the Bible, it says, oh, if Christianity ain't your religion, you got the wrong religion. Because it says it in the Bible. So I'm just going to take word of mouth. No, you got to show me facts. And I have nothing against anybody being Christian, just using that as an example. Um, yeah, don't mind my hair, though, and my beard. I got to shave. I know that. I wasn't expected to do this, but... I get tired of Dante box, Boxing Nation and Barbershop Conversation and 7-8 Sports and all the rest of the ones that be hating. Blue Bud Boxing. I used to subscribe to y'all, but all I seen was nothing but hate. Hate. I mean, come on, let these guys fight. Y'all sit there and clown Canelo, and he's got the best resume in boxing. Probably in history. He's fought everybody. How many weight classes has he moved up? But are you taking that in context? No, you still hate on Canelo. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. And it's like, then y'all always talk about, oh, and y'all always talking about, oh, they're not with PB, Crawford not with PBC and all that. It's like the hate is just nonstop. Crawford, the baddest, probably the baddest boxer on the planet Earth. But y'all gonna say, oh, I like Terrence Crawford, but he was Bob Aaron. That doesn't matter. He choose he choose who he wanna choose. From what I heard, Bob Aaron do pay good money. I mean, I don't doubt that. It's a lot of stuff you get under the table. But it, y'all don't know y'all don't know the ins and out of boxing. I don't even know the hundred percent of ins and out of boxing. 
y'all get mad at at, at um, boxing channels like T Street Controversy, Thunderdome Boxing. Y'all definitely get mad at CBT Casual Boxing Talk, and I ain't you know I'm not trying to I ain't clout chasing or nothing. I don't care about this. I don't get paid for this. This is this is for fun. I love boxing. I love the sport of boxing. I love MMA. I love anything to do with fight sports. But it's clowns like y'all, Dante's Boxing Nation Barbershop and 7A Sports. Y'all lead the whole way of hating. Y'all lead the whole way of hating. And I know there's one more I forgot. I know blue. I put Blue Blood on there too. Um, there's one more. One more too. It'll come to me, hopefully. If not, i get it back to you on the next episode. Um, There's just no need for the hate, man. Terrence and Canelo's... Should it should be one and two pound for pound, regardless of who they with. Errol Spence should not ever be on that list. He couldn't knock out Mikey Garcia. Oh, that's my boy. You gonna say hi? Stop all that barking. I mean whining. But this is my thing. Yeah, the Migos run through with they uh, they music or whatever. You know, I got love for everybody, man. Yeah, I'm black and Japanese. Yeah, so I still have a voice for black people. You look on my Facebook, all I do is speak for black people. But it but it's not but it's not like I'm I'm doing any hating or bashing or saying anything racist. You know, it, but why spread the hate? This is boxing. You know Terrence Crawford and Canelo are one and two pound for pound. And we know And we know we know this. But it's just like, I don't know what, what what your problem is. I mean, I call y'all out on y'all stuff. We know y'all getting, y'all getting some little bit of extra money from the elites. We know this. Y'all get paid to hate. It's part of divide and conquer. All this plays into a factor. Like I said, I wasn't going to talk about politics, but it does play into a factor. You can't come at me with no dumb shit, but you, could, you, could, you can come at them flow modes with that all day. They're gonna they're gonna suck it up, and then they think they're fighting for black people. Hell no, because us black people we don't hate, we don't hate, we love everybody until you bring the hate to us. So I don't know what was with this. Oh, cause you ain't with Aram, you ain't you ain't for black people. I mean, I mean, if you ain't with PBC, you ain't for black people. That don't even make sense. When PBC is not even owned by a black person and never was, all that is cover ups. Al Heyman don't own a goddamn thing. Richard Schaefer do. He may be president of it, and they say, oh, he owns it, but he doesn't. Richard Schaefer is that dude. That's why Floyd has to pay respect to Richard Schaefer. And it's like, come on, stop. Let me chill out. I'm doing something right now. And it just pisses me off, like... Sorry, but Errol Spence is nowhere near the top. He is nowhere near the top of the the top of this crop, man. When it comes to this 147 pound, Ugas will put the whooping on fucking Errol Spence. And I can I can guarantee that. Y'all don't give Porter his credit time my oh, he was getting beat up by Ugas. Ugas is a bigger fighter from Cuba. And Cuban fighters, they know how to box. If Errol get in there with him, Ugas is gonna put him to sleep. With accumulated punches. Not by one punch, but just outboxing him. Mikey Garcia showed a lot of chinks in his armor. Yeah, he wasn't throwing much, but every time he threw, yeah, he was catching Arrow. But y'all don't see that. Just like y'all didn't see the Pacquiao, Manny pa- the Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fight. Y'all just assume, because of what the commentary was saying, that Pacquiao was just missing them punches. But let's go back. If y'all rewatched, if I guarantee you, none of y'all want to come over here and watch the fight with me. Because I guarantee I'm going to prove that. Floyd was fighting scared, like his dad said, and he was getting tagged a lot. The fight, the rounds that Pacquiao won, he dominated. The rounds Floyd won, it was like a toss in the air. Like, he didn't dominate not one round except the 11th. And like I said, I used to like money. But I liked him when he was pretty boy. Because he was fighting everybody. He Well, he did duck Ocelino Freitas. He did duck him. He ducked Margarito. Yes, he ducked Paul Williams. Well, damn. He ducked a lot of people. But, you know, but we always going to have 
have a Dante's Boxing Nation and Barbershop Conversation leading the way with the hate, 7A Sports. He don't even know how to talk right, like correctly at all. I mean, I just don't understand what what your problem is, man. Y'all just got to stop with the hate and let these guys fight, man. Let these guys fight. Like I said, I don't think Errol Spence is the top of the... He's at the top. Floyd was definitely at the top. He is one of the top 15 best fighters to put on the glove. Can't rank him in top 10. Because a lot of that ducking and all them steroid use. Yes, he was on PEDs. Look it up. Google that shit. If you Google it, you're going to find out. He was on it. And he still is on it. That's not fair for other people. Make everybody come clean, but he be on it. Then you make my Donna change his gloves. And that's another issue. Y'all was all up on that whole Madonna situation too. Look. Gloves are meant to protect your hand. Not your head. If y'all don't understand that, I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't. But then again, you got these people who who do who boxes uh do boxing channels, but don't but only watch the main fights. That's why I respect people like T Street and Casual Boxing Talk. They're not biased. They're not biased, man. And and guess what? They're black. And I can respect that. Because we as black people are not supposed to hate on any race. We know what we bring to the table. But for y'all to sit there and have this little coat phone of Flomos and these little Spencers. Man, come on, man. That shit whack. Y'all whack. And I'm calling y'all out on it. You know nothing about boxing. Probably never laced up a pair of gloves. Probably don't even know how to do the wraps. Yeah, I box. Ain't saying I'm the best. But I could take... I could take Dante on. I could take 7-8 on. I mean, come on now. I definitely take Barbershop on. And I'm a short dude. But I know how to handle mine. That's why I don't hate because people who've been in there, they ain't going to sit there and hate. Y'all riding with Floyd because y'all know he's scared and y'all want to have his back. Don't know why. I can't have a, I can't have a, a, a person who's scared. I can't have their back like that. No, you got to get in there and prove it. I mean, come on now. How can Floyd be one of the greatest? He is, though. Don't get it wrong. He's, but he's top 15. He's not top 10 to me. When your last two fights are Berto... Andre Berto and Conor McGregor. You got to be joking, right? You got to be joking. His last 10 fights, the only people that, that's worth any of a damn was a young Canelo because Canelo was green. He got beat by Laura before that he, and Trout. But he's learned from all that. Canelo now would dust off of Floyd Mayweather. Y'all gonna say age and all that, but Floyd stay in the gym and he stay and he stay sharp. No matter what. Floyd is a sharp shooter. And plus them PDs don't them PDs help too. You no, know, it is what it is. But like I said, y'all not gonna never give Canelo his credit. Y'all not giving Bud his credit. Y'all rather give Lomachenko his credit. That's the crazy thing. But the hate will never stop with these guys, so I don't expect it to. But I expect y'all to get to get your facts right. Don't be bringing half facts to the table. I mean, y'all. That what's crazy about it is that them three main channels that I named that that does all that hating, they know Floyd has been popped for PEDs. They know that they have. He has been popped three separate times. But he, but he's clean, right? Come on, man. His girlfriends would tell you that he has low testosterone. His tests prove he has low testosterone. What did Miss Jackson? Miss Jackson said something about his testosterone. He can't get it up or something like that. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all just be ugh, man. Y'all on some whack ass shit, man. Like I said, I fuck with T Street boxing and I fuck with casual boxing talk. I fuck with Thunderdome Boxing. Anybody, any boxing channel that's not that's not biased. Oh yeah, I fuck with Cardinal Red too. 
Cardinal Red, he be saying some stuff. He watch boxing, man. These guys actually educate themselves on the sport. They don't just watch the main sports. I'm watching. I'm watching guys that you've never heard of. You know, I watch the undercards. I'm not gonna sit there and just sit there and politic about boxing and not know nothing of it. You guys need to put on some gloves or something. Get in the ring. And you understand boxing a little more. This ain't a sport to hate. This ain't like fucking basketball and baseball. You're not getting hurt. Or you're depending on a team like NFL. This is not that. It's a one-on-one sport. The best man wins. Whether you white, black, Mexican, uh, from Thailand, you Filipino, Japanese, I don't even care. But there's, there's some monsters out there, man. Not just in America, not just black fighters. There's some monsters. Canelo's not even black. But that motherfucker's a monster. You seen what he did to Jacobs. And Jacobs is no slouch. I'm not saying that Jacobs got blown out because that was a close fight. Honestly, Jacobs was hitting Canelo with some shit. He was hitting Canelo with some shit. And this is like prime. This is prime Canelo. This ain't the one Floyd fought where Canelo just knew how to throw the the one, two and and the left hook to the body. The liver shot. That's the that's the only that's the that's the only shot Canelo knew how to throw at the time. But now this Canelo is he's versatile. His head movement is on way more on point. He's hard to hit. As Triple G, that's Triple G that. But guys don't they don't follow that. They don't even they don't, if you look on their channel, they ain't even follow the Triple G fight in Canelo. One or two. Cause if it ain't black, it ain't right to them. That's that's just stupid. I love my black people. But it's just like saying, um, Oh, if a black person robbed my house, well, since he black, he's right. Come on, now. It don't matter what color you is, you robbed my shit, you wrong as hell. Come on, stop playing these dumb games with people, man. All you're doing is, you're not making it, you're not making no difference in boxing. You're making people stray away from boxing. We need, we need people to want to see these fights. We need, we need the fighters to stop ducking. And when I say fighters, I'm pointing out Floyd Mayweather and I'm pointing out uh, fucking Errol Spence. They're ducking. I mean, come on now. Errol Spence chose to fight Mikey Garcia. He said, oh, Mikey was calling him out. Well, so was Terrence Crawford. You don't want to see that. He don't want to see Terrence Crawford. He's stronger than what most people think. He's stronger than Errol Spence. The guy used to wrestle, man. You don't see how big his fucking legs is? His from his calves cause in boxing that's where your power comes from but oh yeah y'all don't know because y'all don't box don't come from having the biggest upper body Errol Spence is a weight bully he should be he should be fighting 160 he walk around at 190 y'all don't make sense when y'all talk sometimes and it's like I really hate to put y'all on the spot but it is what it is you know I box my teeth fucked up I used to I used to spar without mouthpieces, which was stupid. But come on now, which y'all this the stuff y'all doing is not right. It's not right. Then y'all don't give Sean Porter a chance to even beat Errol Spence. But shit, to my knowledge, Sean Porter ain't never been knocked out. Yes, he got roughed up by Ugas, but it was a close fight, and I think Sean pulled it out. He might I mean could have went either way. That's just the way the fight game goes. But Sean is a dog, man. Sean is a fucking dog. Why y'all sitting here tripping on y'all? Y'all, just, y'all sitting here? I don't know. With y'all fondling Errol Spence's balls or something? Y'all must love them things. Y'all love them flomo balls because y'all just be all up on it, and then y'all get mad. Go pack tards and da da da. Yeah, I love Manny Pacquiao. He is one of the top five greatest, if not the best. And, you know, I would love to see my black fighter be up there. I would love to see Floyd in the top five, but I can't give him credit for a guy who cheats. Doesn't matter what color you is. Have y'all really seen what the Philippines, what they live like over there? Our hoods look like mansions, bro. Look like paradise. Get your facts straight. Talking about, oh, Pacquiao ain't from the hood. You are right. He ain't from the hood. Them motherfuckers be fighting to live. Don't get no food stamps and shit over there. These motherfuckers live in tin shacks. Shacks made out of tin metal. I done been there. My stepmom is Filipino. 
I done been there. But don't get it confused. I love my black people. Like I said, check my Facebook. Y'all see. I'm all for black people. The right way. Just like y'all the same motherfuckers who vote for Obama. And Obama locked up the most blacks and killed the most blacks in the history of presidency. But you was blinded by color like he is now. It's funny. Terrence Crawford black, but you still hate him because he's with the Jew. He with, he's with the Jew, Eric Bob Aaron. But you say nothing about Floyd being with the Jew, Richard Schaefer. Oh, my bad. Because they have the... They have the black cover-up in um, fucking uh, Al Heyman. That's how corporations work. Covering up. To please the black folks, you got to say somebody is an owner. Just like they gave us Obama. Just to please us. When in fact, he did us the most dirty. Same way PBC is doing black fighters. They're doing the most dirty. The only one they put up top is fucking Floyd Mayweather. It gives us hope, like, oh yeah, we can make money like Floyd. No, the fuck y'all can't. Y'all can't. It's a different type of whole society he fuck with. Sorry, it is. Floyd knows. Dante know. Seven Eight know. Barbershop know. They all part of this. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer, right? Blue blood's part of it. His divide and conquer's right there with the red and blue. If y'all knew about a lot of, if y'all knew more stuff than just boxing, you will understand what I'm saying. But like I said, I'm just gonna keep it boxing. Give Sean Porter his chance. That man's a dog. He ain't never been stopped. Y'all didn't even get Pacquiao his credit. Y'all didn't get Pacquiao his credit. That man put a whooping on Keith Thurman. Oh, not to mention Keith Thurman, Adrian Broner, Lucas Matisse, Jesse Vargas. Them are his last fights. Yeah, that, that Jeff Horn fight didn't go the way it planned. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Jeff Horn was roughing back out up with them head bumps and everything. Yeah, he was fighting a little dirty, but it's a fight. And I still think Pacquiao squeezed it out, but that's the way boxing goes sometimes. I mean, Pacquiao got robbed by Timothy Bradley. And y'all motherfuckers don't even give Timothy Bradley his credit. The only person to beat Timothy Bradley was who? Manny Pacquiao. Timothy Bradley, the, he he was a phenomenal boxer. Y'all just don't give that man credit because, oh, he wasn't putting people to sleep. But his boxing...